Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. Um, at the weekend, I did a bit of shopping. I um, have been to HomeSense, Home Bargains, B&M and The Range, and I wanted to show you the things I've bought. Um, I did buy a few Christmassy bits. So there are gonna be some Christmassy bits in this haul. However, things like Christmas decorations or my gift wrap this year and stuff like that, I'm saving and um, I want to do like a designated Christmas haul in December. So that's my idea. I um, hope you're all okay. So I wanted to just film this because I need to put everything away. You know what it's like if you make videos or anything or have Instagram or something, you like keep things because you want to show people. Um, and if I put things away, I will forget like everything that I've bought. So I'm here. I have got one of those like stirring um, powder things, um, a cinnamon bun latte. I can't believe I forgot that. I've got that here. I'm going to go through all my stuff. I mean, it's quite a few things. Let's just do it. The first shop I went into was HomeSense and they gave me such a big bag which I love. I love a big bag. Okay, so I saw a board game and I couldn't really resist. This is Tension. I was looking at it. So basically it's like name the top 10 something and you have a timer and you have to name the top 10 things. So like here's an example of like um, name the top 10 pizza toppings and there's a list there and I think you just have, would have to like guess what they are and keep saying things within the timer and however many you get right might be how much you move forward or whatever. Anyway, I love board games. My whole family, to be fair, loves board games. Um, my dad has a games cupboard to die for and I want that in my life. Um, and yeah, so I thought that this would be good. I also like that you can play this, I think, from two players up i think which is good because um a lot of my games are like four plus players or three plus players um and you know like when you're specifically if you just have one person round or um i, I like like when you're dating or whatever to like play a game sometimes so it's nice to have some that are can be just two player ones so yeah, I'm excited to play that, maybe around Christmas, if I'm allowed to see my family. Who knows? But that was £12.99. I'm just going to put things over here, I think. Also, I have been on the lookout for acrylic storage. Um, I wanted some drawers because I've got a dressing table. I really need to replace the dressing table with a, a, a white one because my one is like pine and all my furniture in my bedroom is white. However, <laughs> um, I have a drawer full of lipsticks and I've got like little dividers that fit like one lipstick in each um and I was storing them upside down so I could see the colour of them however in the summer some of them I think got hot and like some of the lipsticks fell into the lid or sometimes I would open it and then the lipstick would actually fly out of the bullet and I'm like oh my goodness um so I don't want to store them like that anymore but when they're all face up sometimes you can't tell like which shade is which um also in my like another drawer i've got like uh lip liners liquid lipsticks lip glosses lip crayons and stuff and i just thought you know what if i buy some acrylic storage to go on top of my dressing table then i can clear two drawers then i can have more stuff more space for hair care i can put something else in there i can clear up some other drawers i want a big drawer for my work stuff in my room somewhere so i'm just trying to like reorganize my bedroom so <laughs> um I saw these. These were, I think they were both £12.99. They were in home sense, they're from Simple Choice. They had loads to be fair. Um, £12.99 each. These ones have three like long drawers. And this one has two long drawers and then two small drawers. And I'm gonna put this one on the top. And in here I might have like um, my go-to lipsticks that I wear a lot so they're just there and I don't have to like rummage through or anything I'm so excited to like sort that out tonight <laughs> after I film this video basically um but yeah I'm excited to just have more storage really which to be fair I like I used to live with someone in this flat <laughs> you know and um all my stuff just seems to be taking over and now I'm at the point where I'm like I don't know how anyone could ever move in here because uh, there would be no space for them, <laughs> you know? 
So I got those, so I was happy about them. And then I also saw this, which I couldn't resist. It was in the gifting section, but I was like, I deserve a gift. This was only 6 99 and it's by Dr. I don't know how you say it. Is it Dr. Jart or is it Dr. Yart or Hart? I don't know. I'm going to say Jart. Um, it's like, it hangs, which is quite cute, but it, it comes open, so I wouldn't hang it if I were you. Cute little box. Now, I've heard a lot about the cer serum, serum, ceramidin, ceramidin. I don't know about these products and I was like for 6 99 I may as well there's a little booklet that's cool I don't know if it tells you how to use the products but I'm sure I could just google that but anyway this is what's inside and I just thought it'd be nice to try things there is a ceramidin facial mask an intense moisturizing sheet mask um and creates a strong moisture shield. So I think ceramidin is meant to help with your moisture level. I don't really know to be fair. So anyway, there's a sheet mask in there. There is also uh, 15 ml of ceramidin cream, moisture retention shield. There is five ml of the ceramidin serum and then there is, this is so cute, 10 ml of ceramidin liquid. I'm gonna search like what's what really and how to use them and stuff, but I thought that, that was nice and it'd be nice to just try them for 6 99 I think 6 99 is a good price to just have minis of things. And it wasn't something that I necessarily wanted to put on my Christmas list, you know? I just wanted to get it for myself. And that's everything from Home Sense. Okay, next is B&M. I bought myself some snacks. I might not show you the snacks because it's like <laughs> lots of food. Anyway, B&M. Okay, so I was really excited about this. This is a flash all-purpose spray in Sugar Plum Delight, limited edition for Christmas. Last year I bought the Spiced Apple one and I quite liked it to be fair. I'm a bit funny with Spiced Apple, however I liked that. Um, and I thought that I would get the Sugar Plum one for this year. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to use that. I have the Sugar Plum air freshener already in my bathroom um my favorite Christmassy scent is frosted pine to be fair um and I've got like three backups of the frosted pine air freshener for my bathroom however I just thought that I'd try something a bit different you know but I'm a sucker for anything that's like pine or spruce or anything like that that was 149 then something that I seem to just keep getting now for I think I first found it two years ago is the comfort um fabric conditioner in frosted pine and apple i kind of wish i'd bought two now um last year i kept one and saved it um throughout the year and i've opened up recently when i was in a christmasy mood um so it'd be nice to kind of finish that one use this one and have one to save which probably sounds so sad i know but you don't know if they're going to bring it back out every year but it's Christmassy because it's frosted pineapple, but it also smells really nice. So I got that. That was, I think, about $2.99. It was $1.69. That's good. And then I saw this, which is Surf Liquid Laundry Detergent in frosted pine and apple. Hold on a second. Is that frosted pine and apple? And they've got like the same pictures. So Surf and Comfort must be made by the same people, maybe. But how amazing will my washing smell if I've got so i've got frosted pineapple uh detergent and frosted pineapple conditioner oh my goodness i'm so excited this was how much was this this was 149 lovely so good and i like using liquids in my washing i used to use pods but sometimes they wouldn't dissolve properly la, 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 la. Um, i've never really been into powder but i've never used powder but i find that liquid works really well so that is very cool i also got some sephoras and like i have some winter zafloras in my cupboard in the back of my cupboard that obviously i've saved from last year and i couldn't remember which ones i had i feel like i've got like three winter mornings in my cupboard um because it was my favorite scent um i'm gonna get them out though and like swap them around so i can get all my festive cleaning products out how sad sorry it's gone really dark now hasn't it anyway I just couldn't resist so I got a winter spice 
this feels quite big. This is 250 mil. This was 199, I think. And then I got a big boy of sparkling spruce, which just smells amazing. So this is 500 mil. I think this was like 399 or 499. Um, Zaflora, Zaflora spruce, 399. Oh, also, I just realised I read the surf out wrong. The surf was 299, not 149. Anyway, so I got those. Um, also from B and M, I bought myself a treat. <laughs> I bought myself some chocolate Lucky Charms. These were ones that um, I was thinking about buying from the Serial Killer Cafe online, but I saw these in B and M, and I thought instead of making a big order of cereal, especially because I want to make an order from Serial Killer Cafe closer to Christmas, because there are some things I want to get people for presents. Anyway. I bought these as a little treat, especially, you know, I mean, at the time I didn't know we were going back into lockdown, but I thought that this would be nice. And these were 3 99 You may think, oh my gosh, expensive for cereal, but at the same time, American cereal, you're gonna be expecting to pay like anywhere between like three and eight pounds a box. So yeah, <laughs> um, I'm excited to try these. Lovely. Um, I bought myself, I'm gonna show you these snacks. These were three for one pound, Haribo rhubarb and custard zing. The only reason I want to show you these is because Bexify sent me, her channel's called Bexify on here, she hasn't made any videos recently. Um, she sent me a box with some treats in and these were in there and I'd never tried them before and I fell in love. And they were three for a pound so I bought three bags. <laughs> oh dear, I've got a message from a guy, I asked how his day was going and he's put back, all good sexy lady, oh, oh. anyway. <laughs> Uh, Febreze plug-in. I love these plug-ins. I have heard stories about um, them setting fire to things if people put their clothes near them or people have like, put things on top of them and they can overheat. Um, so I only have them on when I'm around. I don't, never sleep with them on. Anyway, this was Febreze Ampipure in Crystal Ice. Smells so clean and fresh almost could would be actually a great air freshener scent and I do think they had it as an air freshener but I've got so many air fresheners I don't need it um uh I probably won't put this in the plug-in that's by my front door I'll probably put it in the kitchen one um is it sad that I'm thinking that I don't know this was Febreze 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 2 I'm gonna turn the brightness up a little bit there we go Got myself a backup hairspray. This is my favourite hairspray. Silv Silvicrin. I never say it right. Maximum hold. This was uh, 2.49. Uh, really? That was 2.49. Yeah. In Sainsbury's, it's about three pounds. Um, so I got myself a backup for when my one runs out. I got myself a Fabulosa foam freshener. I love using these on my sofas. I um, feel like these smell so much stronger than 1001 or what's the other foam freshener? I don't know. However, um, I did buy the very berry one once and the after smell of that was disgusting. Um, I bought Gold Touch and that smells delicious and this one is Rainbow Drops and um, from what I can smell, it smells quite sweet. But anyway, it's a foam and you literally like on your sofa, just spray it and then it like dissolves into it. Whoa, <coughs> that smells, <coughs> oh my goodness, <coughs> I've, oh, I've basically inhaled that. But that smells so sweet and I love sweet smells. So that is very cool. And um, some people have moaned that after a while the sprayer stops working. Um, and I think Fabulosa did say that there was like a batch that were a bit faulty. I feel like that's passed now though. I've never had a faulty one. Um, and that was 149. And I just like it to freshen up, you know, soft furnishings. I bought myself a bubble bath. This is Moroccan Sunset and Argan Oil from Imperial Leather. I bought this to go in my friend's um, like birthday hamper back in July. And I smelt it and I was so jealous. I love the smell of Argan Oil. It just smells so rich and nice. Um, and so when I saw it, I was like, okay, I have to buy that for myself now. <laughs> um, and this was... Um, one pound. Lovely. Decent. Nice. 
I got myself some, oh, some lint rollers because I have this very soft grey cardigan which I got from Tesco and it's so soft and cosy. However, I've been wearing black t-shirts underneath it and then I've got fluff all over my black t-shirts and I don't have a lint roller. So I bought these, a pack of four for $1.99 just to use on my tops when I've worn that cardigan. Also great for my sofa, I have a black sofa and I just feel like lint rollers work really well on like just picking up anything like that's on it, do you know what I mean? So $1.99 for those, lovely. Christmas presents now. Um, my brother won't watch this, but my brother loves M&Ms um, and he also loves peanut butter. He um, has peanut butter I think every single day. He likes the Sainsbury's own one and he likes the crunchy one. Now, this year I saw that there was a crunchy nut peanut butter and I was very tempted to buy it, but I hadn't bought it yet, but it was on my list in my Christmas notebook, like, buy Kieran crunchy nut peanut butter. However, in B&M, I saw peanut M&M's peanut butter and I thought, that's perfect, it's like the perfect merch for him. This peanut butter was £2.50, so it's going to be one of his Christmas presents. And then I also saw these that I thought he might want to try. These are peanut and hazelnut M&Ms, limited edition, 255 grams, and they were £1.50. So I thought that that would be nice. This reminds me of, was there a year when they came out with like, was the World Cup in Brazil or something and they came out with specific colours? I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, I got him those for Christmas. Oh, I've also got things from the range. Let's just do home bargains. Home bargains, there was such a queue and I ended up queuing down the aisle but I had the alcohol in. <laughs> so I bought, <laughs> oh, I bought this toffee. It's weird, it's like 100% pure grain spirit drink. It's, so it's not necessarily toffee flavoured vodka. Although it does say red square vodka. I don't know. This is only 20% though. Um, but it's lovely to shop. <laughs> um, and this vodka well not vodka i don't know this toffee alcoholic drink was 3.99 which is so good 35 cl there and then i also bought this echo falls summer berries one i do like rosé however i don't like dry wines i prefer sweet wines and these ones that have been flavored are lovely it's nine percent and obviously you can get wines that are like 12.5% however I'd rather drink a 9% that tastes delicious than 12.5% that I'm not really that keen on so I got that and that was 4 99 which is about the price that I pay in Sainsbury's and I, I was just in the aisle and I thought I'm just gonna buy it now so that I don't have to go and buy one from Sainsbury's during a big food shop do you know what I mean like it's nice to just have stuff as backups do you know what I mean I was thinking in case anyone comes over, I was also planning on having an evening with a, with a friend and you know when you're like, ah, oh, but now I've found out we're going into lockdown again. So this will probably just wait for a month. <laughs> I hope everyone's okay though, like after hearing that. What a, what a Halloween, hey? Um, I bought a Fabulosa in the St. Daisy chain. Smells like Mark Jacobs Daisy perfume. I'm not even joking. It smells delicious. This Fabulosa was, I don't like pausing while I'm trying to find it, 99p. Lovely. Just so nice. I've got actually, I've just realised I've got so many Fabulosa and Zafloras now because I got some Zaflora from, got some Fabulosa from the Cherries haul, didn't I? Oh my goodness. Uh, a few months ago, I bought a couple of these. Um, these are called the bathroom air fresheners from Febreze. They're like liquidy, you push a button in the back that I think like breaks some kind of seal and then it starts like scenting the area. I like to have one in my bathroom. I also like to have one in my airing cupboard so that my clothing in there smells nice and continues to smell nice. And because the airing cupboard's so small, every time I open the door, I get like a big whiff of the scent and I'm like, oh yes, this is delicious. Um, the first one I used was Blossom and Breeze, which is this one, the pink one, in my bathroom, smelt really nice. I've used Cotton, which smells really nice. And I think Wild Berries, um, but the Wild Berries one, I have found to not smell as strong. Um, so that's a shame. So I bought Blossom and Breeze. These were like 1.99 each, but then they were three for a fiver. And I thought, yeah, 
I'm gonna buy them because then I've just got backups. So I got Blossom and Breeze, and then I saw limited edition Christmas ones. Um, vanilla cookie. I think they also have a spiced apple one. Um, so yeah, vanilla cookie, how lovely is that? They've also got vanilla cookie as an air freshener. I feel like for Breeze with their Christmas scents this year, I've just got it on point. So I got those lovely i bought myself a little re-diffuser in the scent sugared fig and blackberry by wickford and co smelt the candle smells lovely and i thought that i would buy it so i did because i nearly bought a re-diffuser in another shop one of the shops that we went in but i didn't in the end um so i got that i like to have a little re-diffuser in my bathroom so my bathroom i like to have a re-diffuser one of those bathroom things i also have an automatic like glade or something like sprayer um i also have air freshener that i would spray and yeah and i have candles in there as well i just like the bathroom to smell nice um speaking of the spray um oh there we go airwick this is um one of the sprays and my one's just run out so i'm gonna replace it with this one i like um cherry blossom i always go for cherry blossom however i also like the mulled wine one and then i saw this one warm amber rose and i had a little sniff and it smells lovely got myself another batiste uh dry shampoo this was 2.99 for 400 ml uh, and this is in the scent tropical i have one at the moment in the i can't remember what scent i think it's just that like fruit that floral one um and i like to just have a backup as you can tell i just like to have backups of things got myself some tissue paper i was contemplating saving this for the christmas haul but i thought no it's fine this is gonna match my wrapping it's white with gold stars on this tissue paper was like 89p each yeah 89p each and there are five sheets in each pack in an, in an average shop like a supermarket you'd probably be paying a pound so it's not that much of a saving but still got myself a rim block for my toilet um this is uh one of those fragrance switch ones from blue so apparently when it's dry it smells like juicy peach and then when you flush it smells like sweet apple don't know if that's true or not i did have one of them before i feel like rim blocks are good i don't feel like they give off much scent but also i am someone who likes a lot of strong scents whereas my auntie is very sensitive to scents so she would probably notice them more than i would so yeah but um i like to have one anyway because i feel like if i don't have a rim block or anything in my toilet then i might get like loads of lime scale or something so i just like to have something you know um i also got myself a big tub of uh the pink stuff stain remover uh this is the one that's for colors but also says in the description it can be for whites or colors i'm not someone who's about to buy one separate thing for whites and one separate thing for colors uh just keep it simple this was 2.49 but in b&m it was like five or six pounds i'm sure because i was looking at the sign like what are you sure um <laughs> so yeah i just got that and that's a big boy that's got that's 1k wow oh, i've got myself some spearmint polos which i'm going to keep in my car you know when you like going off to meet someone <clears throat> and you like might like to chew some gum i like chewing gum but then you need to put it somewhere and spearmint is better than peppermint in my opinion so i got those then the last little few things are from the range so from the range i basically oh i've got some christmas stuff that i'm saving but i um basically bought scrapbook stuff um got these little mini christmas trees again i was thinking about putting these in the christmas haul but i thought no it's fine um i think they were about 1.99 for those doesn't have a number on but yeah they're good for scrapbooking they also got these which look like little festive lights and lanterns again probably about 1.99 got myself some um sticker like letters i like to just have different ones i've got lots of glitter glittery ones but i like these how they look like they're kind of like shaded in i thought they were cute i think they were about a pound and then the last thing i got was i think about 2.99 and it's called the Lux paper block uh it's a christmas one it basically says it's got a die cut sheet 
quotes with foil, patterned paper, and a glitter sheet, basically. <laughs> so, oh yeah. So there's like um, stickers with like quotes on that say, let it snow, Christmas is coming and all that stuff. Um, oh yes. Just a look how cozy all that looks. Doesn't it look so nice? It looks really bright on the camera because the brightness is up a lot. Um, oh, happy new year, season's greetings. Um, oh, just such cute stuff. So there's loads of these like different shaped stickers. Oh my goodness, a little mitten. Oh my gosh, anyway. Lots of these cute little, uh, they might be stickers or they might be um, just cut paper, but I can just glue them in to my scrapbook. So loads of stuff like that. Look at that Christmas tree. Love it. Okay, loads of stuff like that. And then there's just like loads of different kind of patterned papers that I think are great for like backgrounds of um, photos and quotes and stuff like that. Um, oh yeah, and then there's a glittery silver sheet. Just so cute. So yeah, I got that and I just thought it'd be really nice for my scrapbook. Um, there was another one that had a lot of stickers, but it was more like um, black and silver and black and gold and stuff. And I thought I prefer more colorful ones for my scrapbook. So I got that and there we go. That is everything that I bought at the weekend, except the Christmas stuff. Although I am thinking, is my Christmas haul gonna be much this year because I won't have been to many places because surely things like home bargains will stay open, but is the range considered essential? Home sense isn't, is it? So, um, you know, when you're just like, okay, maybe my Christmas haul is gonna be a bit small. Um, my Nan said as well, she was like, I'm not gonna buy people actual presents this year because I'm not going anywhere I don't want to go anywhere that was obviously before we got told we were going into another lockdown um so she said she might just do people like gift cards or money or whatever so I feel like Christmas is going to be different I'm not just about presents <laughs> um but um even just like having the opportunity to buy gift wrap like my mum phoned me on Sunday uh, morning I think or maybe it was Saturday um after the announcement and said hi what kind of advent calendar would you like and I was like I'm not really sure to be honest there hasn't been one that stands out to me she always buys me an advent calendar um and I said I'm happy honestly with anything even just those basic Cadbury's ones I love them and she was like okay that's fine it's just that I need to get your advent calendar now because we're going into lockdown till the 2nd of December everyone will probably start buying them so she like rushed to get them but yeah if you haven't thought about it yet buying gift wrap and stuff you're just going to get what's in the supermarket and the supermarkets probably aren't going to have all that extra stock are they so interesting i don't know but um hope you're all okay anyway i feel like i picked a good day to do my shopping and it was before there was any like oh we're due to be put into a lockdown we think that's what boris is going to say like it was, it was like in the morning so it's before anyone knew that boris was even going to make an announcement um so yeah um hope you're all okay thank you very much for watching this video um and i will see you in a couple of days in my next one wish me luck for putting this all away <laughs> and i need to also take down my halloween decorations like my pumpkins and stuff like that um so yeah i feel like it's gonna be a busy day and i'm gonna sort my lipsticks out oh i'm just so excited to like organize anyway hope you're all okay and i will see you in a couple of days in my next video love you lots thank you for watching <laughs> bye